Hello to my fellow Star Wars fan! I'm your host, Dingus Bringus, and today I'll be talking about why I think the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker trailers confirm that Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi will be making an appearance in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And before I get into that, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future Star Wars videos and Disney videos every day at 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you enjoy, smash that like button down below to see if we can get to 5 likes for this video. So if you haven't seen the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker trailers, I'll leave links to them in the description down below. I would assume you most likely have, but give them a rewatch anyway so you can see what I'm talking about. Or specifically, hear what I'm talking about. In both trailers, we hear Luke Skywalker say... We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you. Now the key word is we. Not I, we. I think it's very clear just from the we itself that there is going to be multiple force ghosts in this movie, and specifically all of them. Now we can refer to Luke and Yoda. It totally can. However, we had Obi-Wan call out to Rey and talk to Rey in Star Wars The Force Awakens. When Rey touched the lightsaber, she had the visions, right? And Ewan McGregor actually went into the studio and recorded more lines. He recorded, these are your first steps. So we know that Obi-Wan is looking over Rey and has actually spoken to Rey before. So it makes sense that Obi-Wan is going to be included in that we. Luke clearly is included in that we because he's the one saying it. Yoda is also included in that we because we know from The Last Jedi that Yoda is also looking over Rey. Now the one character that is not so obvious is Anakin Skywalker. Now, I made a bunch of videos on this channel already talking about Anakin and the Rise of Skywalker, so I'll leave a link to the Rise of Skywalker playlist in the description, and I'll probably make tons of more Anakin videos about the Rise of Skywalker because Anakin is my favorite character of all time. I can't help it. But I do strongly believe, and... I just know that Anakin is going to appear in this movie. It's the final Skywalker movie. Anakin is the main Skywalker. He's the Skywalker that the first two trilogies were about. And to some degree, this trilogy. Because Kylo Ren was obsessed with Darth Vader in Episode 7. That's who he's trying to be like. Episode 8 is about Kylo Ren breaking free of that obsession of Anakin Skywalker, of Darth Vader. Now, Episode 9, we don't really know what the full story is and how Anakin plays into it. As you guys probably know if you've seen my earlier videos, I personally think that the Rise of Skywalker refers to Anakin, but that's just my own theory. However, we, again, I feel like Anakin is the perfect person to teach Rey. I mean, Yoda's good too. So is Luke, and so is Obi-Wan. They're all great masters. They can all teach Rey a bunch. But the most important person and the best person to teach Rey is Anakin, seeing as he has gone in the light side and the dark side. And Rey has used both the light side and the dark side in these movies. Obviously, she's a Jedi. She's on the light side, right? She's a good guy. She's on the path to become a Jedi and to use the light side of the Force. But in Star Wars The Force Awakens, the way she defeats Kylo Ren is by using the dark side. There's also many other reasons why Rey ended up beating Kylo Ren, but the main reason why is because she harnessed the dark side there. She used the force, she harnessed the dark side. She didn't know the difference between the light side and the dark side. She just knew of the force. And as we know, the dark side is way more easy to use and gives more much raw power to people that use it. So Rey used the dark side there. Now, Rey also used the dark side in Star Wars The Last Jedi when fighting the Praetorian Guards. She used her anger, she used the dark side to fight the Praetorian Guards, and also there was some use of the dark side in that dark side cave. So Rey isn't foreign to using the dark side and to be a part of dark side's presence. And that temptation is going to be there for Rey, and Anakin knows what that temptation feels like. He knows what it feels like to have that darkness inside of him. So the best person to teach Rey about how to either harness that temptation and use it, but not fully turn, or just totally not use that temptation at all, is Anakin, seeing as he's been on both sides of the coin. But I do know that Anakin is going to be in this movie just for the fact that it's the final Skywalker saga movie. He is the Skywalker. We refers to multiple people. No one else has taught Rey besides Luke. Luke is a Jedi. Luke is now a Force ghost. This is new lines of dialogue. Meaning, this has to be Force Ghost Luke talking to Rey. Meaning, he is referring to the other Force Ghosts. And included in that those Force Ghosts, Obi-Wan and Anakin. 
also Yoda, but I think Yoda's kind of a no-brainer to appear in this movie because he appeared in Last Jedi. The ones that haven't appeared physically in the movies yet are, well, not technically physically because they are Force Ghosts, but you know what I mean. The ones that we haven't actually seen yet are Obi-Wan and Anakin, so that's why this is about Anakin, but yeah, I really do believe that these trailers have already confirmed secretly, well, not, really, not really secretly, just really if you're paying attention to the wording, that Anakin and Obi-Wan are going to appear in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think about this? Do you think I'm dead wrong, or do you think I'm dead right? Do the trailers confirm that Anakin and Obi-Wan appear in Star Wars Rise of Skywalker? Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future Star Wars and Disney videos every day at 7 p.m. Eastern. Smash that like button if you enjoy, guys. Let's see if we can get to 5 likes for this video. Merch link in the description down below. Click right here for my motion upload, and click right here for my Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker playlist. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I will see you next time.